I should do something about that squeak. In today's episode, you get to see a 1966 Ford Mustang. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, first of all, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. For those of you that have been here before and that are subscribing, again, I really appreciate that. I appreciate the thumbs up and certainly the comments that you leave as well. Um, as you may know, my channel is uh, all about trying to highlight regular people who happen to love cars, people like myself. So today you're going to get, uh, get to see a gentleman. His name is Bruce. He has a 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. It's beautiful. I thought you'd enjoy it. So come along with me for a drive. We'll go and check this car out and see what this Ford Mustang is all about. No drag race though. I don't think I could ever beat this car, but she is gorgeous. Come along for the ride. started many, many years ago. In 1960, I was staying with my uncle, and he had several, several classic cars. He had a 29 Packard with a rumble seat. I think there was only eight of them ever made, and it was the one his father uh, had. He also had Al Capone's Cadillac, 1928 Cadillac, and I went for a ride in that. I'm Are you serious? You. I'm absolutely serious. I can, I can prove right. it, I think. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and it just got me interested in, in the cars, and... Um, Anyway, long story short, I came into a little bit of money back in 2013 and uh, decided I was going to buy a, a classic car. So uh, I was looking around for something in my price range and this is what I found. So I bought it, it had already been restored. The color was changed from Wimbledon white to the blue that you see and the automatic was taken out and they put in a nice four speed. So uh, there's some other things. So I've got pictures of the uh, restor restoration that uh, go with the car. Have the original ownership from California and uh, the original build sheet too from Ford. So what year is this car? This is 66. A 66. Six. And what is it? A Mustang? It, uh, coupe. Coupe. Yeah, coupe. They had the, uh, this is the coupe, the hard top coupe. They had a convertible and then they had the fastback. It's got the 289 four barrel in it. And would that, would that have been a, the, uh, the sort of the standard engine at the time? Uh, yeah, more or less. They had a 289 with a two barrel and they had a slant six as well. And then there was also a high performance 289. So this is the second to the highest uh, level. And uh, yeah, so I bought it and I, I put some money into it. I fixed up a few things. I had to put a new carb on it. It's got an Edelbrock 1403 on it now. And uh, uh, I've, done, I've done some some little things. I've replaced the window crank, uh, the mechanism in the passenger door, the driver's door. I have to do yet, but I've I've got the uh, the, the sliders and all that for it. They, they come with the car. All the parts are going to come with the car. So uh, is this more or less a stock vehicle? Yeah. So everything we see here is how the car would have originally come, including like the door. Yep. Door mirrors and everything else. Yeah. And the, the wheels? The wheels, yeah. And, the and, and if you look underneath, you can actually see, you can see the weld, the original weld joints here. I, I don't know how well that shows in your camera. There's been no body panels replaced. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And how long have you had this? I've had it for seven years. And I'm selling it now just because I want to move on, do something different. What is it you're yeah. after? Well... It's being delivered on Monday. Oh, is it really? Okay. I'm buying a, a Can-Am Spider, the, the three-wheel trike. Oh, I trike. like those. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do this again. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, and, I, you know, I like to keep my cars inside the garage. i got a two-car garage, and I've had three cars. My wife has just got rid of her 2011 Jetta. We gave it to a lady at our church, donated it to her, and so I've got two spots in my garage and this car and my regular car so I need to get rid of something because I don't like parking outside in the rain or in the snow I if I don't you. have to yes. 
Over the winter time, I've had this car stored at a friend's place. He's got a two-car garage and only one car. <laughs> Perfect. So it's good to have friends like that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I can open the hood here for yeah, you I'd if love you to like. See it. Go ahead. It's it's nothing too special, but uh, you know, it is what it is. But that's the stock engine. Like yep. everything would have come exactly yep. like this. Yeah, I even got well. When you come around, I'll show you something else. But uh, it, it's funny, like. It, this battery, this is just a plastic cover. So it's got a brand new battery in there, but it makes it look like the old type, right? Oh, I see, okay. And then over here, we have the uh, the windshield washer. Oh, like a bladder. Reservoir, it's, yes, it's, it's just yes. a bladder, like a bag. And you put your put your windshield washer fluid in there. Actually, my MG has one of Same those, thing, but I've right? never actually used it. Yeah, I actually so I, I bought this little chrome piece for here, and I got the Edelbrock carburetor now, and. Uh, it's got factory air, but you'll notice I don't have the belt on because it, this is not working. Okay. And it was going to cost me a couple of thousand or more. Just and to I, do it. No. I don't need it. No, it's, sure. it's just a driver. It's a, 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 it's a fun car to a, drive. A sunny day Absolutely. driver. So. Beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's so there is no bad. trace of the original paint on this now. Like it's all gone. The, mm, the it should be all gone, but I, can, I have pictures. I'd like to see to, that. To, yeah. to show you. They're in the trunk. <coughs> Oh. I love the color of this. Thing. Yeah, it's way better than Wimbledon white, Certainly. that's for sure. And what, what's the official name of this color? I don't know. Because I, I, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a Mustang color or a color the guy who restored it just liked, you know. But that's, that's the original ownership of, of the car. Right there. Wow. And uh, that's the build sheet. So what was the actual damage? Twenty three hundred dollars. That's what it started no, 31, at. Thirty one forty nine so, with the extras. Yeah, thirty one with the extras, and then, and then there's pictures. Oh, well, that's U.S. So that's like yeah, six, it's like six million Canadian. Yeah, right. <laughs> so then there's pictures here of the car the way it originally was. It's got an Ontario plate on it. Right. So I know that the restoration was done here in Ontario, and you see the damage on the the seats and stuff like this, that. So yeah. This is all fixed up. Right. Had an automatic. Anyway, they, they tore all the inside out and, uh, you know, they, they fixed the rust and whatever and blah, blah, blah. You no, know, it's great that you have these photographs. So, like, I, I have nothing on my car. Yeah. It, it does. So then it went to the, tell the story. Th there's the, you know, they, they ground it down and, you know, fixed it all up. Anything that was needing fixing. And then they painted it. And there she is. Painted it the blue color that it is now and polished it all up. And they painted the inside of the beautiful the, uh, thing yes. and other parts. They've painted the horns and various things, whatever. Even the engine. The engine yeah. was done. And uh, there it is, finished. Awesome. And now in this, yeah. uh, I'm now in her glory here. Beautiful. Yeah, I've got a I've got a cover car cover for it here too, and uh, the original air cleaner. I thought you know throw that in. This box has the window crank system for the driver's door. Okay. And uh, yeah, I did uh, a few goodies in there for the next owner. Yeah, there's even sequencing tail lights here. If you know, because they didn't start sequencing them until about 2002 or something. So. I had them in here so that, you know, go blink, blink, blink. Right, like the new, uh, new Yeah. Ones. But I ran into some kind of a problem. I can't remember now exactly what it was, but uh, I ended up taking them out. And uh, so I'll pass them along. For sure. So, yeah, so, I mean, the trunk's clean other than the stuff I've got in it, right? No, that's fine. And the two, you, uh, you, the two you, pipes you, at the bottom, that would have there, been... There, there's your gas right. cap that's kind of hidden in that's there. That's lovely, yeah. And, and the pipes, the gas or the exhaust pipes were add-ons because normally they would come through here if, if you had the dual pipes from the, from Ford. They would either come, I don't know if they came through here or here. Oh, okay. But they were just mounted down below when the guy did the uh, the restoration. I, I kind of like this better. I think it. Uh... The uh, the clutch is a manual clutch, right. not not hydraulic, but it's not problem driving in stop and go. Um, the Brakes are not power brakes, but they got discs on the front. Right. 
So you you got to got to put a good pressure on it. Yeah, you got to you got to plan ahead before you stop. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, it makes you a good defensive driver. Absolutely. And plus, it also when you drive something like this, it makes you appreciate the engineering that's in the car you drive today. Can we look inside? Good. Oh yeah. Can yeah. We could open that up. So Bruce, these are the original seats. Everything. Well, <clears throat> I think they've been done, like redone, redone but the, yeah. the structure of them underneath is. Yeah. And it, it's kind of interesting the way they're, um, when this seat folds forward, it doesn't go straight forward. It actually comes over on an angle. Oh, nice. Because the one hinge is here and the other one's further forward. So it makes a very nice, easy It's a little easier to get it passage. in and out, for sure. Yeah. Now this, this is not stock. Uh, we, they didn't have cup holders. Cup holders didn't come standard in a car until 1986, believe it or not. I can believe that. So uh, we got that, and then there's a, a nice little spot here to yeah. put stuff to. paraphernalia. So that's not stock, but everything else is. And the shifter is, uh, again, it's, it's you Hirsch. added that afterwards, the Hirsch? Well, yeah, the guy who did the restoration the Hirsch, put the right. four-speed in with the Hirsch shifter. Yeah, it, it's a little... You, you, you have to treat it nicely for sure but for it's sure. uh it's good it's a great great uh driver really goes well at the cruise nights you know people love it what what are they bruce cruise nights they think of the past isn't it hopefully we'll start up soon no yeah yeah this darn covid takes the romance right out of it i'm gonna take a look from the other side yeah you go right ahead There's something special about wind-up windows, isn't there? Well, I think the kids, kids these days think, what the hell is this? Well, not only that, but if you said to a kid, roll up your window, he'd wonder, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. What do you mean, roll it up? You mean push the button, Dad? <laughs> yeah. So these tacks, so one's a tack. One's yeah, the, the other, other one? one's a clock. All right. Now, the tack right now, it's, it's kind of stuck. It, it won't go above about 2,200 RPM, and the clock does not keep time. And the radio in there, that's... That the radio doesn't work, but I have um, in the glove box, I've got a nice Kenwood sitting in here. And is that through a Bluetooth connection? I've got a, a Kenwood. No, it's got wires. I've got some Infinity speakers in the back. All right. Okay. And, uh, and a three-quarter inch parcel board, which is good and solid. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the bass is pretty good. Very nice. But I never listened to it. I, I spent probably 600 bucks putting that thing in there, and I never turn it on because I want to hear the engine. And well, I, just... I'm kind of selfish. I, I do listen to the Eagles, so that's the only thing I'll play. But, of course, yeah. YouTube won't let me, uh, let me broadcast that. So uh, I gotta, I'm going to have to talk to Don Henley and the boys about that. Yeah. That's beautiful. You're going to be sad to see her go, though. Well, I've had it for seven years, and I had fun with it. Time to let someone else have fun with it. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm realistic. I know I can't have everything. I mean, unless I want to move to the country and have a six or seven car garage, that's, then maybe I'll look about buying another one. That's right. But the color is just stunning. Yeah, it's Absolutely nice. Absolutely beautiful. It's pretty it's nice. Like a sky blue or I don't know what you'd call it even. And, and then, of course, you have, to, you have to lock your doors, you know, with the key. You can't, you, you, you can't, uh, you, you can't push the thing down oh. and push the button in. It, it just it just doesn't do it. It doesn't work. Well, at least your locks work. I don't think mine do. I don't think I even have the key for the locks. Yeah. So I um, I, I replaced all the, the I had it all keyed properly because they had a key for the ignition, a key for this door, and a key for the other door. I went and ordered a whole new set of uh, everything yeah. cylinders so that it's all all locked on the same key. Windshield wipers don't work that well, but I never use them. No, why I mean, I mean they, they the work, rain. but I mean they don't they don't do a good job clearing the <laughs> I water. Hear you. Yeah. I've only had to use them when I you know a sudden rainstorm you get stuck you in. Get I stuck. never take it out in the rain. That's it. Shall we go for a little drive? Sure can. Let's yeah. do that.
this car is older than both of you put together. <laughs> we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs>